I think it, it was on my doorbell. I don't think, I, if I caught it on my doorbell, I would play it. I'm sure we looked a hot mess, <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> it was funny and it released laughs. <laughs> it released laughs. Okay, let's pray. So I'm going to read to you Joshua chapter one, verse nine. It says, have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed for the Lord. Your God is with you wherever you go. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid nor dismayed for the Lord. Your God is with you wherever you go. Go. Joshua in the Bible had to be one confident man to be able to be Moses' successor and to um, finish out what Moses started and to lead them into the promised land at a young age is something that's going to take confidence. And so it is our prayer that our husbands would have confidence. And here is the prayer starter. Heavenly Father, please fill my husband with boldness and confidence. Father, would you please instill in him the courage and confidence that he needs to face challenges ahead. As he reads your word, please remind him, Lord, that he is never alone. Help him to stop, to step forward in faith, knowing that you are with him. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right, let's pray. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 and 36. It says, so do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. Lord, we pray that our husbands would have confidence that is richly rewarded. Father, we also pray that you would preserve them so that whenever all is done, that they would be in your will, Father, for Father, we pray that our husbands would have confidence in your will and not in their own will. And Father, that they would have confidence in the things that you have promised them in the name of Jesus. We read your word in Psalm 139, verse 13. It says, for you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Lord, we pray over our husbands that they would come into the knowing that you knitted them together in their mother's womb. That Father, that they can be confident in you and in who you have created them to be because you designed them. You knitted them, Father God. And it further goes on to say, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. We pray, Lord, that our husbands would know full well that your works are wonderful and that since they are a part of the works of your hands, they can be confident in the fact that you have created them for a good work and that you, Father God, have plans for them and that those plans are for them to prosper and to give them hope and a future. Hallelujah. Father, we pray your word in Second Chronicles chapter 32 that Father God, just as Hezekiah received confidence from you, so would our husbands. The word says that with him is the only arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and fight our battles. Father, we ask that you would help our husbands, that you would help and fight their battles. Lord, it says that the people gained confidence from what Hezekiah, the king of Judah, said. May people around our husbands gain confidence because of the words our husbands speak, because he is listening to you, because he is partnering with your decrees in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you would help our husbands to fight his battles and that he would have confidence in you. We also read your word in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. It says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. Lord, in all things, we pray that our husband would know that your grace is sufficient for him. Father, we thank you that your grace is sufficient for us in our marriage and for our husbands that they would gain confidence by learning to trust in you because your strength is made perfect in their weakness. Lord, we thank you that our husbands could be men who boast more gladly in their weaknesses because Christ's power rests upon them. Holy Ghost, we ask that your power would rest upon our husbands 
husbands, that Lord, as they learn to trust in you and boast in their weaknesses, that their confidence would begin to climb in the name of Jesus. We decree your word in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so we decree power, love, and a sound mind over our husbands and our husbands-to-be, that they would not be men who are fearful, but Father God, they would have confidence in you and in your words that you have spoken. And because of that, they will walk in power, love, and in a sound mind. Father God, we decree Ephesians chapter three, verse 12 over our husbands. It says in him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. We thank you, Lord, that we can approach you even now with freedom and confidence. And we just decree and declare that our husbands will be men who approach your throne with freedom and with confidence in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you are, you are even now stirring up the faith in our husbands to be able to approach you through your throne room, Father God, with grace, Father God, to obtain grace, with boldness to obtain grace and mercy in the name of Jesus. As it says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Lord, we thank you that our husbands can find mercy and grace to help them in their time of need. And even now, if our husbands are coming up against something that is causing them, Father God, to be in lack, we pray, Lord, that you would remind them by way of your Holy Spirit that they can approach boldly to the throne room of grace to obtain grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Hebrews 13, 6 says, So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? We decree over our merits that the Lord our God had the Lord our God is our helper, that we will not be afraid. For what can mere mortals do to us? What can mere mortals do to our husbands, to our marriage? Because Father, we have confidence in you that he who began a good work in us is faithful and just to complete it. Hallelujah. We decree Isaiah chapter 32, verse 17. It says, The fruit of righteousness will be peace, and it's in its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. May our husbands bear the fruit of righteousness and peace in their life. Father God, may the effect of this fruit be quietness and confidence forever. Hallelujah. We just read your word that says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Father, as our husbands hope and trust in you, may their strength be renewed. It says that they will mount up on wings like eagles. They will rock, walk and not get weary. They will run and not faint. Father, as our husbands continue to pursue you, may they walk and not get weary. May they run and not get Get weary. May they walk and not faint in the name of Jesus. We pray that our husbands would not faint, Father, that they would not get weary in well-doing, but that they would have confidence that when they hope and they trust in you, that their strength is renewed in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Isaiah 41 10 it says fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand we just decree this word over our husbands father God may confidence begin to quicken their bodies father as your word says in Romans 8 11, would your Holy Spirit begin to quicken their mortal bodies may father God they receive life as they read your word father as they lay down their lives to pick up their cross. May they receive the strength that they need. Father, we pray that our husbands would fear not because they have confidence that you are with them. For you're not a man that you should lie. You cannot change your mind. You don't go back on your promise if you have said it. We pray that even for us as wives would have the faith to believe it. We decree and declare that our husbands would not be dismayed, that they would not be fearful, that they would know that you will strengthen them, that you will uphold 
uphold them with your righteous right hand. And we decree and declare Jeremiah 17, 7, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. We decree and declare that our husbands will have confidence in you. And because of that, you call them blessed. You call them set apart. You call them chosen. So Father, in the name of Jesus, any of our husbands who are lacking confidence, would you bring healing to their hearts? For you said, Father God, that you have come to bind up the brokenhearted. So any area of trauma or hurt that has caused our husbands leaving, leaving them wounded, Father God, not feeling confident. Oh Lord, we pray right now that you would bring healing to that area. Father God, that you would set around him men that are like pillars that would begin to be there for him, that he can lean on them whenever he feels distraught, dismayed, broken, hurt, distracted, or tormented. May Father God, he know the Holy Ghost as his paraclete, as his comforter, as the advocate in the name of Jesus. Father, blessed is our husband because his confidence is in you. And Lord, we also pray Nehemiah 6, 16. When all of our enemies heard about this, all the surrounding nations were afraid. They lost their self-confidence. Father, we pray that our husbands would be the ones who stand up, Lord Jesus, and who build for your glory. Whatever business, whatever idea, whatever invention or thought that you have designed for our husband, Father God, that you have put in his hands, Lord Jesus. Jesus, we pray that our husband would not lose his self-confidence, but as he stands up to build, as you told Nehemiah to build, that the enemies surrounding him would lose confidence. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, because they realized that the work had been done with the help of God. Father, we just decree and declare that you are our Ebenezer, you are our Eleazar, in the time of trouble, you are our stone of help concerning us, our marriage, and our husband. Our enemies will flee in different ways because they see that this has been built. This marriage, hallelujah, has been built by the hand of God. May the enemy against our marriage lose all confidence when they see us building an altar of prayer, when they see our husbands building himself up in his most holy faith, trusting in you, when they see our husbands coming to church for the first time in years, when they see our husbands bow their head to pray over the things giving meal. May the enemies lose confidence because they know that this marriage has been built and fortified by the hand of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that our husbands would have confidence in you because of 1 John chapter 5 verse 14. And it says, this is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask for anything according to his will, he hears us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that as we are here tonight, Night, night after night, praying over our husbands, praying for our marriages. We have confidence that you hear us. Hallelujah. We decree your word in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, that whenever we approach you and we ask for anything according to your will, you hear us. Lord, we thank you that you hear us. We thank you that you hear our husbands. We thank you, Father God, that confidence is stirring right now, even in us, that you hear our prayers. And we decree Philippians 1, 6 that says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for beginning a good work in our husband. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are faithful and just to complete it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Proverbs chapter three, verse 32 says, for the Lord detests the perverse, but takes the upright into his confidence. Thank you, Lord, that you take the upright into your confidence. Father, would you create in us a clean heart, renew in us a right spirit? Would you create in our husbands also a clean heart and a right spirit? Father God, may we not have any perversion about our marriages, any perversion in our marriages in the name 
name of Jesus. But Father, according to Matthew 18, 18, we bind the spirit of lust and perversion right now in the name of Jesus. And we loose the confidence of the Lord over our husbands that they would not seek to perversion, that they would not turn to perversion or to be perverse or wicked in any way. But in the name of Jesus, Father, we just pray that you would begin to purify their eyes, purify their hearts. May they be men after your own heart in the name of Jesus for you said in your word that you detest the perverse, but you take the upright into his confidence. Father, would you take us into your confidence? Lord, would you make our husbands upright? Would you make us upright not to go do things, Lord, that is that is perverse and twisted and wicked? But Father, we pray that we would be people who have clean hands, who have a pure heart, who does not have any wicked, evil way about himself. But Father, that our husbands would have confidence in you and in your goodness because you said that you keep us from our foot you keep our foot from being snared and you keep us at your side according to proverbs chapter 3 verse 28 hallelujah psalm chapter 20 verse 7 says that some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of the lord our god we pray that our husbands would trust in the lord hallelujah that their confidence would be in you father that they would not trust in horses or in chariots but that their confidence would be in you psalm 27 verse 3 it says though excuse me though an army besiege me my heart will not fear though war break out against me even then i will be confident lord in the face of fear may our husbands carry confidence father in the face of adversity may our husbands know that he will not fear his heart will not faint hallelujah that lord jesus i pray that you would instill in our husbands a confidence and a boldness that cannot be taken nor shaken and would you help us as wives to also edify our husbands speaking words father god that are edifying to them and not demeaning in the name of jesus lord we come before you just repenting for any person any man in our bloodline any man around us that we have spoke down toward lord we ask for your forgiveness for any man that we have begun to to control with our words that we have begun to speak down upon that we have not let flourish because we have been intimidating him lord we come to you and repent right now we we pray that we would be women who are able to edify and encourage and um, bring a word of exhortation to men in our life, not just our husband, Lord. And we ask that you would that you would correct our tongue, that you would help us not to be um, women who talk down on men, but you would help us, Father God, to be women who honor, who respect, and who submit to priestly authority in the name of Jesus. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And we pray, Lord, that our husbands would have this word written on the tablets of their hearts, that they can do all things through Christ who gives him strength in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One Corinthians chapter two, verse three through five says, I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with the wise or and persuasive words, but with demonstration of the spirit's power so that your faith might not rest in human wisdom, but in God's power. Lord, we pray this for our husbands, that our husbands, when they come to you in weakness with great fear and trembling, Father God, that you begin to fill their mouths. As you told Lord Jesus, um, I think it was David or Jeremiah, Lord, that whenever you we open our mouth, you would fill it. Father God, we pray that whenever our husbands open their mouth, that you, Lord, would fill it. That, Father God, just as Paul is speaking to the Corinthians, that he did not come 
um, with persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the Holy Spirit's power. May our husbands have confidence in you so much so that they can demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost, not needing to persuade men with words, but just by way of the fruit of the Spirit that he bears. Hallelujah. So that their faith would not rest in human wisdom, but on God's power. May all who come into contact with our husband not rest on human wisdom, but may they put their trust in the Lord because they have seen the power of God working through our husband and his confidence. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and we pray all these things. Amen. <music>